and welcome. Today, we're going to take an in-depth look at an engine that's surprising a lot of die-hard truck fans, the 2.7-liter turbo high-output engine. This is the base engine on the Chevy Silverado, but it's anything but basic. It's one of the many reasons Chevy trucks and Silverado are so popular among truck owners. Here to give us the inside scoop on the 2.7 liter turbo is Kevin Luchansky. Hey, Shane. Hey, Kevin. Assistant Chief Engineer at General Motors Powertrain. So, Kevin, let's start with the big question. How can a four-cylinder measure up in the ultra-competitive world of trucks? Well, Shannon, it's mighty powerful, it's mighty durable, and it's making believers out of both V8 and diesel lovers alike. How do you get that heavy-duty performance out of this engine? It starts with the heavy-duty redesign and build. We stiffen the crankshaft by 30%, and the engine has a fully forged steel bottom end with tri-metal rod bearings. We made the engine block stronger by adding a kilogram of aluminum ribbing. It is stronger, quieter, and it's more durable than ever. That's a rock-solid foundation. How does the turbo play into all of that? Well, the turbo was part of the engine design right from the start rather than being tacked on at the end. The inline four-cylinder arrangement provides a natural location for the turbo and large cylinders coupled with the dual volute turbo to provide near instant turbo boost. Also, the placement allows priority oil feed first off the filter and the perfect coolant routing. Keeping a turbo both cool and lubricated are the keys to long life. These are not the turbos we grew up with. Definitely not. This is next generation turbo design with 20% more torque. It's more durable than ever with over a million miles of over the road testing. Well, engineering has certainly been busy. What really matters is how they perform and what real truck owners think. I'm joined here today by Jeff Gibson. In the past, I've had several different Silverados, uh, starting in 97, uh, 2000, uh, 2006, and now on to a 2015 3500 HD. So let's see what we can do today. Let's hop in and give it a try. new interior looks great. You noticed the big trailer, obviously. Couldn't really miss that one. Yeah, so 34 and a half foot trailer. It's just a little bit over 7,300 pounds. We're on a straightaway. Don't be timid and uh, All right, let's here go. Here we go. She gets up and moves. That's effortless. Quite impressive to say the least. That's a motor with a lot of power and we didn't even come close to putting it to the floor. As soon as you get going at 1,500 RPM, we're already making uh, 350 pound-feet of torque. Oh, that's great. So right off the line, it's starting to move this mass. With all that low-end torque, it doesn't really need to downshift as much as other engines that don't make as much torque. No, I feel like that's the awesome part about the turbo. It just goes into a little bit of boost and starts like, making your like power a, for you. Like a diesel. Yeah. Yeah. No, the so. brakes on this thing are awesome. I mean, we just slowed right down to a comfortable turn. Yeah, the capability these half-ton trucks now are, are amazing. Yeah. We have a 30-foot flatbed we use for machinery, a four-yard dump trailer. So I'm used to pulling some length and weight, but it's also the difference between a 35 and a half-ton. But I'll tell you what, half the weight and what should be half the truck start to make up some ground, that's for sure. One of the big advantages is its ability to make torque fast. So the big four cylinders coupled with the dual volute turbo, which is a fairly unique turbo design for these engines. They work together and it just, it builds torque basically instantly. You probably notice barely no lag. No, almost not. Yeah. We think the 2.7 really starts to um, separate itself. A combination with the basically anti-leg of the turbo and just the shifting of the transmission. I mean, it's barely coming out of a single gear which we know is gonna be much better on fuel economy. I mean, this makes all the sense in the world. Yeah, the eight speed behind this works really, really well. Our teams have worked well together to get the shifts fast, smooth, and precise. They seem to be all those things and extremely smooth. A lot of that is the coupling of the torque that the engine builds and, and the gear ratios. It just, it's like a match made in heaven, our teams say. Yeah, well, they've done a very, very good job. Super comfortable ride. There doesn't seem to be any any issues at all. It rides, rides great. Well, that was extremely impressive considering we're in a half ton pickup truck with almost 7,500 pounds behind us. I'm glad you liked it. It continues to make believers out of everybody that drives it. Well, I'm a believer yeah. at this point. Looks like the 2.7 liter turbo high output engine impressed another serious truck owner. 